Okay, guys, so now you have your dough, you have your cardboard, and here is where we're going to make our formations, our land formation terms that we have practiced yesterday. This is your land, okay? You are going to mold this land onto your cardboard and put all those 17 terms in here, okay? So for example, here I'm gonna put my dough. I'm gonna kind of flatten it out. And I wanna decide different areas where I wanna put mountains, um, canyons, valleys, a bay, a lagoon, all those things need to go here, all right? So as you go, and I'm gonna kinda, I'm not gonna show you all of them here. I'm gonna just use an example. I'm gonna do a mountain. Actually, I'm gonna do kind of like a mountain range. Yours is gonna look much better. You're probably gonna wanna smooth it out a little bit more as it goes, but I'm rushing so I can use some examples. Now, here's my mountain range. I'm gonna have it by a bay. Here's my bay. I'm across the way, I'm gonna put a peninsula jutting out into the water. You're even gonna to have to have an island, so I would take a piece and make your island somewhere off to the side, okay? All right, once you have put all 17 terms on your map, okay, you're gonna leave it. Actually, you can do two things, okay? One, if you have toothpicks and little pieces of paper, you can make little flags and poke them in labeling what each thing is. So you would write on the little flag mountain and poke it in, okay? Once you label it all with the, with the toothpicks, you can let it dry, okay? The second thing is, and I sent you some Sharpies so you could do this. The second thing is, once you put all your formations in, you let it dry. And then with the Sharpie, you can write on it what each thing is, okay, after it dries. Does that make sense? Hopefully. All right, and so that is how you make salt dough landform maps. Have a good time.